All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with Krug's Draft Gems, and we're going to take a look at North Carolina linebacker Cedric Gray. But before we do, quick mention for Pig and a Pickle, the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera, two locations. They're both open from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out, and they do run out. All the food is amazing. I love the brisket, the brisket chili, the pulled pork, the potato salad. It's all really, really good. Uh, if you're in Marin County, get the uh, get the, the the potato chips cooked in beef fat are absolutely amazing, uh, but they don't they don't serve them in in, in Emeryville only in Corte Madera. So you got to go out to Marin County. But thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show and the sponsor of this video. All right, let's talk a little bit about one of my favorite players in the upcoming draft, and that is Cedric Gray from North Carolina. He's an inside backer. Uh, he's six, one and a half, 234 pounds. He's a senior this year. He's from Charlotte, North Carolina. He went to Indy and ran four, six, four. And, you know, sometimes guys play faster than their time. Sometimes guys play slower than their time. This is a guy who plays much faster than that time. That's a good time. Four, six, four for a 235 pound linebacker is a good time. But I would say Cedric Gray plays even faster. He ran one five nine in the ten yard split. He had a thirty five and a half inch vertical. But let's just talk about what makes him the player that he is. There's no such thing as a great inside linebacker that doesn't make plays, <laughs> and this guy uh, does make plays. He's got excellent range. He can blitz and get home. Um, if there was one word I would use to describe Cedric Gray, it's productive. He plays faster than that four six four forty. He can run and chase. He's probably he could play the you know he could play the Mike linebacker in the modern game and with the green dot and call the plays. Uh, he's got great instincts, but I think he's probably more ideally suited to play the weak side linebacker because his greatest thing is that he can run and he can chase and he can get through the trash really really instinctively. So you know he doesn't get caught up in the middle of the field. Uh, he runs through the you know the chaos inside and gets to the ball carrier. He's got really good instincts. He shoots gaps. Uh, for the most part, he takes good angles. The negatives are he'll sometimes over pursue. He's not the hugest body you're ever going to see. He's 234 pounds, but he'll also take some over pursued angles at times. Um, but it's all in an in because the motor is revving so high. And generally, he takes good angles. He can play man-to-man. -man. He was a three-year starter. Um, just to give you an idea of what kind of production he's put on tape the last three years. Last three years, 100 tackles, 145 tackles, and 121 tackles. And then over the last two years, he's had 23 tackles for a loss. So um, I think this is a the best inside linebacker in this draft by far. And I, I, you know, to me, um, I would definitely take him in the second round. If I were the 49ers, um, I think he'll be there in around 60, but there's a chance he goes in the forties or fifties and he won't be there in the second round. Cause there's so few inside linebackers that do what this guy can do. And there's so many teams that have the film of the ACC, uh, you know, Cedric gray wreck, wreck and shop, in the ACC. What really stands out is he's got a crazy motor. He loves to play. If you watched him in the senior bowl, the game was like two minutes from completion. We're at like two minutes to the end of the senior bowl. Most guys are just, you know, at that point in the game are just kind of, you know, they're just kind of out there, um, you know, shaking hands and, and trying not to look bad. This guy was still had the motor revving high very high. And this is in the senior bowl. Uh, as I said, he's excellent against the run. He can get good deep drops on his pat pass drops and make plays against the pass. He's just an instinctive tackler. I mean, if you want a guy who's going to run and hit, um, the 49ers may need to replace Dre Greenlaw, at least for this year. Now they have Jalen Graham. He's nice. Uh, they have uh, D winters. I think he's got some potential as well. But this guy's on a different level. This guy is is another version of Dre. This guy's another version of Fred. 
Um, th this is a, a Pro Bowl NFL linebacker if I've ever seen one. So um, I love Cedric Gray. And if you can draft a Pro Bowl linebacker, I don't know that you can overdraft a guy like that. Now, <clears throat> if you took him at, at, at 31, that probably is a little bit of a reach. Um, and people would criticize the Niners for, for that. But if you're looking for a starter at linebacker, Cedric Gray can do it day one. And not only can he do it, he can do it at, at a very, very high level. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset if they took him at 31. If you wanted to guarantee you would get him, you trade back from 31 to about 40, 45 right there. And you draft him. Um, I would say his range is 50 to 80 in that range. It's kind of a big range, but some teams uh, may have a lower grade on him. Um, I think he's a terrific player. I think he's the kind of player that is going to be a difference maker for the 49ers for years to come, you know, for a, a guy who's going to be fantastic tackler among their leading tacklers. As I said, I see him as a Fred or as a Dre, you know, he could play them. He could play inside. He can play outside. He's just really, really intriguing. Um, I'm going to share the screen and show you this one unbelievable hit that he had. And this one is amazing. Check out this hit. Uh, this is, this is Cedric Gray, uh, in a very short highlight. Here we go. Running backs running to his left. Gray comes down. If he doesn't see gray, boom, <clears throat> knocks him silly. I mean, that's the kind of hitter this guy is. Guy cuts it back. I mean, you just absolutely send him for a loop there. That was a monster hit from Cedric Cray. Um, the other one that really kind of, to me, is another play, another thing that should be heard here is here's Cedric Gray. This is Chase Sr. who put this out. This is Cedric Gray talking at the uh, Combine about, you know, the possibility of playing for the Niners. Yeah, I think I, I met with the 49ers um, up at the Senior Bowl. I haven't met with them here. Um, but that, that that would mean a lot, you know, to learn from two great all-pro guys like that, Dre Greenlaw and, and Fred Warner. You know, I feel like I would learn so much from them and, and just make me an overall better player. Yeah, there you go. So it sounds like he's a guy that at least would like to play for the Niners or at least has thought about the idea of playing for the Niners. He can run. He can hit. To me, this is one of the safest players in the entire draft. There's no bust ability here. This guy's going to be either good, very good, or great. Um, there's no, oh, you drafted him and he didn't make the team. Oh, you drafted him, but he just, you know, he wasn't the same player. No. This guy is good, very good, or great, and I'll side with great. All right, thanks to Pig and a Pickle for sponsoring this video, and thanks to all of you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.